If the set with u and v in it is a basis for the subspace u, show that the set u plus 2v and minus 3v is also a basis for u. Right, well, first let me understand the problem. What does it mean for this set to be a basis for u? Well, the definition says this. The set u, v is a basis for u. So u and v span u and u and v are linearly independent. Okay, so I understand what the original information says. Is there anything else I know about the basis? Well, dimension is the number of vectors in a basis, so the dimension of u must be 2. I might as well write that down just for the moment. Um, since two vectors in a basis, the dimension of u is equal to 2. Okay? Which of course means that all the basis sets have to have two vectors in them. And uh, the set I'm trying to show as a basis has two vectors in it, so that's good. It, ha it could be a basis. But um, I guess really I just need to show that uh, it satisfies the two rules for basis. I have to show it spans u and that it's linearly independent. Okay, so let's see if it spans. So I want to show that u plus 2v and minus 3v span u. And that means I want to show that everything in u is a combination of them. So let me pick a vector in u. I've already used u, so what about w? Let w be in u. Want to show w is a linear combination of u plus 2v and minus 3v. That's what we want to show. If we've shown that, then it means they must span it. Okay. Well, what does the vector w look like? Well, that means I need to know what u is. u is a subspace with basis uv. Well, u and v span u, so everything in u is already a linear combination of u and v. So I can write that down. Write w is equal to a u plus b v for some a and b in R. So what I really want is something times u plus 2v plus something times minus 3v. Well, if I can show that u is a combination of my new basis vectors and v is a combination of my new basis vectors, I can sub that into this formula and then w will be a combination of my new basis vectors. So let's see if I can do Now... V, well that one's easy, it's minus a third of my new basis vector. What about U? Okay, well to get U I have to use the U plus 2V. And I need to take off 2V, so I can get 2V by going two thirds of the minus 3V, so plus two thirds of the minus 3V. So u and v are linear combinations of my new basis vectors, so therefore w is as well. So w is equal to a times u, but u was u plus 2v plus 2 thirds of minus 3v plus b of v, but v was a third minus a third of minus 3v. And that's a linear combination of my new basis vectors, which is a linear combination of u plus 2v and minus 3v. 
So therefore, u plus 2v and minus 3v span u. Right, well next I want to show that my vectors are linearly independent. Let me write that down. want to show u plus 2v and minus 3v are linearly independent. Okay, well normally if I had two vectors I'd check to see if they were multiples of each other, but I don't actually know what these two vectors are. Uh, so I can't do that. So it looks like I'm going to have to use the original definition of what linearly independent is. And the original definition was that the only way to do a linear combination of them to get the zero vector is for both the coefficients to be zero. So I want to solve an equation like this. So solve a of u plus 2v plus b of minus 3v equals the zero vector. Okay, well all I can think to do with that equation is expand it out. So au plus 2av plus, well actually I suppose it would be minus 3, minus 3b v equals 0. And it looks like I've got a combination of u and v, so au plus 2a minus 3b v equals 0. Well, you know what? This is similar to an equation I'd write down to see if u and v were linearly independent. And I know u and v are linearly independent because they're a basis. So therefore, the only way of this happening is if both the coefficients I have here are 0. So therefore, a equals 0 and 2a minus 3b equals 0. And if a is equal to 0, this second equation becomes minus 3b equals 0, which becomes b equals 0. So a equals 0 and b equals 0. Therefore, u plus 2v and minus 3v are linearly independent. Because the only solution to that original equation with the a's and b's is 0 and 0. So since they're both span and they're linearly independent, therefore together as a set is a basis for u. The end.